What's poppin' guys? Uh, well, let me tell you what's about to be poppin', and that's this monkey airship tower over here. Coming equipped with 15 full upgrades alongside a Paragon. Thank you, Chiss, for creating this mod. Can't wait to check out what this mod tower has to offer, and yeah. Basically, the airship has resorted to uh, cannibalism, and is now on the monkey side to uh, kill the balloons, to help us kill them. So let me just go ahead and drop it, and let's see what it does at base. Well, first off, Looks like it's taken the monkey aces uh, pattern. Also seems to be moving at a much slower pace, and uh, I would assume the, well, the placement of it matters, positioning. Right now, no damage, no damage. Waiting for damage, waiting for damage. I guess that has to be pretty close. Yep, oh, there it is. There, the darts come to play. Does look like it even has, uh, even though it seems pretty far away from the balloons, uh, yeah, the range is still pretty big, so it's not too big of a deal that, well, I don't know. Circle makes it go really high up, but luckily, again, we have targeting. Do we have Wing Monkey, actually? Oh, we don't. That's fine, that's fine. Not a big deal, because right now, this thing already does uh, quite enough damage that we can probably, you know, get uh, quite a lot of rounds with just this guy. So, uh, let me just go ahead and drop, or have already drop in. And let's take a look at what each three upgrades do. Just press I here, and then it shows all of them for us. So, let's see which path is best. Bluntonium Darts increases damage against all balloon types. I see it. Faster fine for 680. And more bomb power, which I believe is Pierce. Has the same uh, icon as the uh, Dart Link Pierce upgrade, so I'd assume that's what it does. I think I want to go for the damage one. Bluntonium Dart, so uh, that should make it do two damage, I guess. Well, let's go ahead and buy it. And yep, that's two damage per shot. Nice, too. So let me go ahead and see what's next. Mobile Reconnaissance allows Monkey Airship to pop and reveal nearby Camel Bloons. Uh, reveal as in. Uh, intel sub kind of thing let's go ahead and check it out well we can't check it out because there's no camels yet but you know what i mean we're just i guess we'll just keep going with the top path while we're at it so bomber starts to drop bombs on nearby balloons that stuns them temporarily sounds pretty op like a bomb race that stuns also we're leaking lives we're not to mention that yes we're playing on a modded map and there's koru and uh, it kind of seems like the balloons uh, have a 50 50 chance to split either the short path or the long path Overall, I would say probably an intermediate style map, and I should probably get to upgrading it to uh, faster firing, more reliability, also twin guns for 920. Why not? Sign me up. Now, here's round 30. It looks like we can pop light balloons naturally. I guess that's maybe to do with the Bluntonium Darts upgrade. That allows it to, I guess, pop any balloon type. At least that's how it worked in BTD5 with that upgrade. Not gonna lie, this thing is pretty lit for a tier 2 tower, although I guess considering its price, it's about average. I mean, I spent like, what, four and a half thousand on this thing? There are even, there are cheaper towers that, like, defend this way easier, like a 030 druid, so... Not the most OP thing in the world, but still, allowing us to farm a heavy amount now. Let me just go ahead and see what my other option is. We have Gatling Laser. This one adds another machine gun that fires lasers. Okay. I think in terms of interestingness... Bomber sounds a bit better. So I'm gonna buy it, and hey, we turn into a BFB. And uh, that's what the bomber is, guys. One bomb, periodically. And I think, if I'm looking at this carefully, it does not drop bombs when it's over uh, track. You didn't see it there, but I think I saw it at some point. Yeah, yeah, see there? See there? It stopped for a brief second, and it'll stop again somewhere up here. Actually, not quite, but either way... That explosion is pretty tiny, although I guess, I don't know what I expect. I think it is this point that I should probably go for second airship, just so I don't I stop leaking random stuff. So maybe one on figure eight. Like I would say over here, and here we go, mob on mob action, guys. Let's see, it's now BFB on mob action. Hopefully we can uh, stun the insides. Actually, I think uh, Trojan dealt with that, so uh, nice job there, Benjamin. Now I think I'm going to opt for a bottom path... Uh, mob dart chip. So let me just go ahead and buy the bomb power upgrade. And then what does improved engines do? Allows the monkey airship to be more maneuverable. So it goes faster? Yes. Oh, also new pathing. New pathing, what's this? There's a center path that's very tiny. Do we have wing monkey? We do not. I don't know how good center path is on it. Actually, no, it's pretty good. If you put it like this, it'll pretty much be attacking at all times. Because remember, the ranges of its initial attack is pretty big. Now, I'm gonna die, so... Might need to use a bend ability here. Yeah, I'll use one now. Extra damage. Oh, wait, I can do this too. Wait, reverse starting. It's so slow. Now I'm dead. Well, I'm not dead, but, uh... Right. 
I'm too used to the monkey ace uh, being able to switch really quickly. Actually, I think a better center path spot might be up here for the dart ship because, uh, yeah, I want things to be able to get near the exit. So hopefully that ends up working for us. And let's, what's this? Light carrier lodges an escort of fighter planes, which, I mean, that sounds like mall damage. So I don't think it would be good for the uh, balloons which I'm linking to right now. So maybe I'll try an 032. Yeah, why not? Although I think top path is better because, uh, you know, damage. But you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to buy it. There's Gatling Laser. And now we've got a... DDT recruited, and, uh, can I see the lasers at all? I think it's just shooting normal darts, so... <laughs> Underwhelming in the visual aspect, but... I would assume does decent damage. Actually, hang on a second here. I think I do see lasers. It's just, uh... Maybe I was blind or something, or maybe the pierce was really low. But yeah, periodically, there is a laser shot, a sh laser shot, shot, but a lot less frequent than, uh... Hang on, I'm dead. A lot less frequent than thing. Okay, bad news, guys. My game crashed and the save got bricked, so unfortunately I had to do another entire, entirely new run. But I guess on the bright side, that means I can do the same thing I did before, but better. So now my farming is better. And now I'm going to do a factory. Spike balls over here for cleanup. And I'm going to make sure I just don't die for the rest of the game. Because, yeah, I fear that if I have to restart again or die or retry any last round, then the game will just brick again. So, yeah. Gotta do this Black Border style, so let's just be safe by going for the next upgrade. So, Heavy Bomber. Upgraded bombs have deal more damage and weaken nearby balloons. Okay. So, uh, who doesn't want that? Here's to see how much extra damage it does. Oh, I think I did the Armageddon did two there. So, it's similar to like an Embrittlement where you get a nice plus one to everything, so that's cool. And yeah, before the tier five of this path, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, bottom path tier three and four. So, uh, now that mobs are starting to come up more, more frequently, I think Light Carrier would be a good option. So there's the fighter plane. Kind of looks similar to aircraft carrier ships rather than... Well, well, I guess, yeah, there's two different meanings for a fighter plane. But I was thinking of the Ace upgrade, you know? Either way, these shoot way slower than uh, the uh, aircraft carriers, as you can see. Like, one dart every, what, 10 seconds? Actually, no, it's shooting a bit faster. It was just, uh, they have to be in range. Just kind of, like, similar to an aircraft carrier. But still. Air flagship? Wait. Air, air, airship, sorry. I got confused. I wait. It's the same upgrade, but no, it's, a uh, slightly different. I'll go ahead and buy fast firing in case that increases the damage of the, uh, mini planes, too. Kind of hard to tell, honestly, but let's just go ahead and get air airship now. So, it seems like this is just budget boat tower. You get aircraft carrier planes, but slightly weaker. Also, we are not dead to camos here. We are not dead to camos here. Seems like the plane is a bit unreliable. Yeah, I'm just gonna quickly go for that. And now that that's clear, let's just go ahead and get camo on at least one of these guys. We'll outbuff the planes too, in case it helps. Hey, actually, wait. Did it just change to uh, an ace pad? When did that happen? I wasn't paying attention. Although, I think, actually, I think it's tier four, right? Yeah, this is tier three. These two are tier fours. That theory makes sense. And one last upgrade we ought to look at before looking at the tier fives is Laser Array, $20,000. Adds a powerful new beam attack that targets the strongest balloon on screen. All right, let's get it. So we should see purple lasers now. Ooh, looks like it's got something similar to a Doors Ball Light. On top of that, you also have the normal plasma lasers shooting at a very fast speed. Hopefully these uh, three ships are enough to beat. Oh wait, also we have an ability. I'm not sure if that's what the laser array means, or uh, I thought the main attack was the thing that always started strong, but I guess we can always see for next round. So here we go. Oh, again, I don't want to die, so let me just go for a pocket mails from back here. Okay, this round's actually really easy, but I want to maybe I'll use the ability next round in case it's like a mold nuker, single target nuker. Well, the mobs are dying pretty quickly, but let me just go ahead and use it now. And uh, I don't know what happened. Yeah, hard to see, but. We'll find out later. Let me just go for the Banana Central real quick. While I can. Now, I know all of us already knew that the Neon DT skin is fire, but I haven't seen a purple skin of it, and that looks, honestly, uh, even more fire. Sign me up with more colored uh, Neon DT skins in the real game. Why don't ya? Now, uh, let's see what the cheapest tier 5 is. It looks like it is Devastator, top half. For 38.5. So let's see what it does. I'm not going to buy it just yet. Because I think I want to farm hard for the Paragon. Again, it was Andrew K last time I saw it. So 
hopefully get that before the game ends. We probably should. Yeah, basically improve bomb stun and weakens all balloons and radius, including more class balloons. Oh, this one does not weaken what class balloons? I guess not. But yeah, I'm, I'm expecting this thing again to be a hybrid of like super brittle cripple Moab, maybe giving plus two or plus three damage because it already gives a good amount of, you know, raw damage, I would assume. Actually, I'm not sure. It seems like actually a very support oriented path, you know? You got stun, you got weakening ability. Also, I'm still scared as heck to camo, so I'm going to buy a reactor real quick. And uh, honestly, let me just blast off. I think we got... A good enough farming army here. So yes, yeah, so we now have a golden ZMG with a Sarbama icon stapled right in the middle of it. It is indeed looking very devastating, and I'm really curious to see how much extra damage we're getting. Let me see how the best way to test that out is, maybe with a sniper. Just trying to see if there's a, a spike larger than two at once. That's the best way to tell the damage, although not entirely clear unless you get a single target on screen. So here comes the ZMG. Best way to tell, and oh, it did 10 damage? Okay. That's a little bit on balance, sir. That's basically plus 8 damage then, for attack. So yeah, better than a super brittle curve Moab, but I feel like if those damage jumps were, were changed, it sounds like a very uh, solid concept for a tower path, as in, like, maybe you do have a good amount of utility, but the cost of, again, not always for positioning, because the fact it's so slow, Makes it, I would say, uh, I'm, not I'm not sure I'd say even less reliable than Ace because people who are uh, Ace micro enthusiasts could probably uh, micro it enough, like in a way, uh, change the pattern in a way that I think is always around the middle. I think I've seen people be able to pull that off in like things like races, but you have to do it really quickly. So uh, I think having it go slower would be a benefit to those who like uh, to micro very hard. But for those who don't, I think it's pretty bad to have it not be near where you want it to be for like possibly up 10 seconds or longer anyways enough of the top path now for the ravager so uh, this powerful fighters deal mass damage and can stun oh class balloon taking hang on a minute we already got a mob stun i guess we're doubling down now it'll be kind of hard to see you know how good the stun is since we already have another one on the screen but i'll just go ahead and buy it and now we get another zoom g red skin and correct me if i'm wrong but that's a uh top one boss badge nice Honestly, it does make it look very menacing and sick. Uh, and let's see. What are we looking at here? The mini planes, of course. Okay. Wow, we got mini Sky Shredders. That's pretty sick. And I think mini Navark reskin Navark planes. Three of them. Three of each, actually. Equaling, I think, six planes. Don't know. I see way more. I'm trying to count here, guys. If my eyes are not deceiving me, that's four Sky Shredders and three Navarks. Pretty cool. And, okay, that damage is... Honestly, pretty correct. Yeah, since when this guy p surpass uh, this one in uh, pops, that's how you know this thing is just very strong. And now for the last one, Annihilator. Probably would overkill right now before round 100, considering we're doing so well. But you never know. Let me just let's just take a look though. This behemoth of flying metal exterminates all balloons with its powerful lasers. Before we buy it, I still want to actually verify what this ability does. So let me go ahead and use it again and. Uh, I think it's just faster attack speed, which was which was my initial assumption. And yep, seems like it is. And it beats 98 easily. Probably thinks the plus 8 damage. Yeah, like perhaps Ravager isn't that OP. It's just a plus 8 damage that's making it do absolutely cracked amounts of damage. And here are FDDT is also easy. Last round of round 100 at least. And yeah, we absolutely just nuked that bad. With only two ZMGs and a DDT. I bet the Paragon is going to turn into a bad, right? There's no way it doesn't. Well, again, before I die, I do have a Perma Spike at the back, by the way, just to be super safe of not dying. But yeah, I think I'm just going to go for the Annihilator now. DDs are being a bit annoying. So let's get it. And uh, what am I looking at? Well, okay, I got it confused for a second because I thought, wait, there's two is EMG on this No, there's just a, a red D Neon DDT, which kind of blended in with the, uh, what was it, Top Path? Bonapat skin, sorry. Bonapat skin. But yeah, uh, what does it do? Probably just does more damage, more lasers, it seems. Lots of DTs here, and we're struggling to it, so let me go ahead and use the ability. So that we can... Uh... How come we're not doing that much damage? Huh? Oh, it's because it doesn't attack DDTs. Okay, okay, I'm silly, I'm silly. 
because the reactors up here, and I still don't have a camel village for it, so... My bad, they're a bit of an under for a test, so let me just go ahead and use it now. So you can see, uh, several thousand DPS on a single target. And the ability, yeah, that's, that's like artillery battery uh, times 10 levels of attack speed. So before I even get to the Paragon, I would say, uh, yeah, I mean, it's a mana tower. It's, uh, it's almost likely going to be overtuned, I guess, for the fun factor. Because no one wants a crappy tower that does no damage, right? I would assume not. And yeah, even though it's doing fine so far, I think it's just time to unload. So before I actually unload, pop count check. Uh, Annihilator doing the most, so unsurprisingly, and that was like 5x the cost of the other things. And this guy uh, doesn't seem to be too overpowered in uh, damage, which is a good thing. But yeah, it doesn't matter which placement I want to be. Um, I mean, probably not since we already have center path, so I'll just pick this one. Let's do it. Let's graze it. Probably pretty high. We got lots of pops on it. 63. Yeah, that's a that's pretty hefty. And now, hey, wait a minute. We lost. We lost center path. Well, not the worst thing in the world. I think infinite's decent. And yeah, we indeed got a bad as our uh, uh, Paragon skin. And uh, what are these things? I'm trying to press this button to target. I think it's just a visual thing that does nothing. No ability. Uh, we do have uh, DT Neon Sharps. Five of them floating around. Helping us do damage. I was kind of curious how much extra damage we get now. Because I would assume... Uh, the plus 8 damage applies to a sniper as well. I think I saw it do plus 10 on a shot. Confirm a 140. But yeah, could you imagine if this guy was uh, not on the monkeys team? Imagine it was a boss balloon. Like, it could shoot these deadly lasers to uh, destroy your towers uh, and just run through defense. Would be a pretty fun concept, honestly, if it went the other way, but, other way, but yeah. Waiting for the, the next round. I don't think we even saw a glimpse of the uh, F bad, so uh, waiting for the uh, normal bad to spawn out just to see how much extra damage we're getting. And how quickly he dies, too. Uh, here it is. Yep, it's the same thing, plus eight. GG's, and hope you enjoyed the uh, Mod Tower Showcase. I thought it was a fun one. For more fun mod content, make sure to check out the playlist, and that's all for me today. See you guys next time.